Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Right, so here we are in 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 Kevin McCarran. Right, so we just delivered the invoice to Dr. Hildern, but we also got a job to to go and do a little investigation in Vault 22, which is of course fine by us. Yeah, he's punching. Little buster. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dautry owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Mm. Are you supposed to be famous or something? Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. Well, they did mention someone like Dutchry, but... Uh... So, uh, how long have we been a bounty hunter? Oh, shit, I don't know. Got to be at least a month, longer than I last in most jobs. You worked a lot of different trades. Oh yeah, a lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. All right. So, uh, why did you quit the trade? See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money. But it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. Also, I ran into this mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, I could have taken him. But with this guy, might have cost me some bad burns or an ass rape. I'm all for risking my life, but I'm a little sensitive about my asshole. All right. So, uh, what are you going to do now? Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cash from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. Oh, gambling man. So why does Daughtry owe you caps? Because I killed a couple of marks for him. That's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? Uh, no, I've never heard of them. Of course you didn't, because they crossed paths with Lil Buster. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. All right. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Right. Well. Once again, <laughs> he plays caravan, so... The good old safety save and... Yep, I'm still here. Shit, I got nothing better to do, right? Wanna play some caravan? I'm gonna roll over you. Yeah. <clears throat> sure. Okay. Mm. Okay, we have like Jack and Queen as a special card, okay? Oh, I got a king. 
That means I got uh, chances to, I can kind of ruin his deck there. I gotta be careful here. Let's see, that's 21. Yeah. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to get like another Yeah. Well I'll I'll let him waste his kings on that. Oh let's see. I'll cancel. Guess I'll play my queen here. Yeah, I've got two kings I can. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, well, I'm going to discard this. Play my three here. Oh, because it's Oh. oh, maybe I'm looking. Yeah, I can't. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta. It's three, huh? No Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Thank you. 
Wait, I think if I play if, if I play my ace here, I should be Will I win? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. All right. <clears throat> okay, so hmm. well, just to make things a bit smoother, we'll Fast travel back to Grimson Caravan Camp. Oh, it's uh, night time, huh? Well, I suppose Alice McLafferty might still be in her office, so let's go check it out. Because we did do her job, so. Yeah, she's still a good. It's a good thing she works late. Welcome back. Well, I delivered the invoice just as you ask. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Well, what else do you have? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Okay. Tell me about the negotiation. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. Well, we've been there before. Okay. I want to know more about the problem with Henry James. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Okay. What was that about the gunrunner job? The quality of the gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Was there something else? It's been a pleasure. All right. What's up? Well, yeah, you know what? I think I'm ready to take you to Hidden Valley. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. Right. Guess we'll go to uh Yeah. I mean we'll we'll put this quest on a hold just a little while longer. Oh and and, and this one yeah actually yeah. 
Well, yeah, actually, yeah, I did. Yeah, let's, uh. Well, let's see. Uh, good, good, good. Salesman week. Yes, good. I have, I have some, some magazines. Good. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Show me what you got. Can do. Most of you. That is Hydra. Hydra, huh? No, doctor's bad, no. See ya. <laughs> right, so... We do need to get to Hidden Valley, yes. I'm sure I have some. Okay, yeah. Okay, then. I don't think she has any. Just a little bit of inventory management. We'll stay here for the night. Obviously, then in the morning we'll move on. Yeah, casings. Extra ammo I want to leave here. Okay, no, not this time. Obvious weapons. I'll probably leave the knife here, yeah, okay, but, uh... Yeah. Do I have? Oh yeah, the, the leather armor. I'll, I'll leave that here as well. Some food that I need. I'll, I'll leave all the fire and meat. Right. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, but I had some extra leather armor in here. At least that one extra knife. Leaving behind. And we'll sleep like six hours. Yeah, it's uh, until morning. I'm sure I'm getting thirsty, even though I'm not officially dehydrated yet, but, yeah. Yeah, eat something. Oh yeah, well, obviously, we'll eat the skill box. 
yeah for if the add x what a stick this scroll stool yeah Sure. I'm sure Cliff Briscoe isn't still isn't yet in his uh in in in, in his shop. Mm. Yeah, we want to go to Hidden Valley. But I guess before that we want to travel to Mojave Outpost. Hmm. Just thinking if there's any other place where we want to go. Well, background, just my luck. What'll it be this time? Take a look. Mm. Radix right away. I could buy some of this stuff, I mean... We do eat all the time, so... Eventually we're gonna need to... Oh. And I'll have like a bottle of clean water, sure. Well, it does have specialized ammo for these. No 10 mil ammo, okay, but she would have for grenades. Well, let's see if we can play a game of caravan. Background? All right, go on. Let's put our cards down. Whoa. She puts a lot. Okay, if we lose this match, we are absolutely going to reload. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to tell it straight. Like I absolutely will save Scott if I lose. <laughs> mm. She's like wasting her, wasting her like specialized cards already. Mm. Oh, if she's got a king, okay, if she's got a king, 
she can win next round so Hmm. Gotta sabotage her deck. Oh, she's got. Oh, she only got one there, yeah. Okay, oh, I thought I had. I thought I had nine, okay. That's okay, like, yeah, if she can get this third row, if she can get that, she would win, so I'm going to have to sabotage this one. Oh, is that seven? If I force him to kind of have a good caravan here, you know, I, I should still be able to win because I have my first two caravans on the left. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. 
like I, I helped her to get like a good caravan, but only because I already had secured two first, the two other ones, and she only had that one. So, oh, that's beautiful. It really, you know what? It really pays. It really has paid off because, as I said, recent lately I've been like, um, I've been kind of like watching some videos about how to play this caravan game and like. Learn a little bit more about the rules and these conditions, like when you win. And like that's like a good example of where having actual like some knowledge and just just a little bit of that, you know, like just a little bit of that, like that, like that knowing, just a little bit of knowing what to do, you know, which then also helps you to kind of plan and. Because then you can actually start to have like strategies and like there's actually like some meaning in your in your decisions, you know. So you're not just tossing cards like at random and hoping something good happens, you know. So, oh, that was beautiful. Uh. <laughs> I think our character would have a drink now. Well, maybe not so early. Morning. Looking for trouble? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot that. Uh, just minding my business. Your business, huh? Now there's a store worth tending. You run along now. Judging by that busted pilot light expression you're fixed with, business ain't so good. Oh, I'm surprised you can see me from that deep in the bottle. Deep? Ain't deep by half. Closed down the bar yesterday, gonna close it again today. Rinse and repeat. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Uh, how about you keep your hands by your sides? Don't worry. Not looking to throw punches just yet. And something tells me hitting you would be a mistake I wouldn't want to repeat. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that too. Oh. Well, hmm. But they didn't take anything. It doesn't really sound like raiders. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Yeah, I met him. That's a nice impersonation. Yeah, he's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. So he doesn't do anything. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. Well, you know, I already cleared the roads for Jackson. No shit. <laughs> Drinks on me, then. Still, not like I'm going anywhere. Caravan title still keeping me here, even though it's dead and gone. Right. Well, never mind. I'm up. I'll be going. You take care now. Well, I wanted to exit because I'm still going to need to uh, use a skill book uh, salesman with the... Uh, I'll need my partner at least 50 if I want to, you know, to get anywhere with her. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Well, uh, Crimson Caravan sent me. They want to buy out your car caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? 
No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Why not? If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Well, I have the offer letter here. The terms are fair. Alice McLafferty, eh? Mm -hmm. No, I see the zeros. Yep. And I know she's good for them. She is. Still, it's not about the money. Really? Dad, it's been like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right. Trading history for a slip of paper. Well, I'm prepared to offer you the terms plus 750 caps. You're obviously putting your money where your mouth is. On top of that offer letter, that is a lot of caps. Still, what makes you think that's enough? What, you think I'm cheap? Well, far from it. To turn down the original terms. All right, it's a deal. Hand over that paper. Ugh, can't believe I'm parting with it. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. All right. Well, guess I'll have to be going now. You take care now. Well, <laughs> so most of the winnings we got from our, from our you know game of caravan we're gonna have to give to her but at least we got you know we got the job done at least the job is now done so let's head to hidden valley all right yeah probably should I don't need the extra perception for my bandana while I have EDE as a companion because <clears throat> when he's your companion, it's as if you had like, you know, maximum perception. At least when it comes to detecting, you know, enemies from afar. I've had one. Tiny little rat scorpion, huh? Well, Did I get poisoned?
Yeah, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yeast. Cram. Palawa. Star Bottle Gap. Caps Free World Money, Pugilism Illustrated, which is, of course, a boxing skill box or unarmed. Well, oh, right away, good. Nice. Yeah, Sunset Sarsaparilla we have. We might even have one right now just because we got so many bottles of it now. Might as well enjoy a refreshing Sarsaparilla. Uh, human enemy or well, some kind of yeah Oh, well, for a moment it kind of looked like he had, uh, you know, a grenade rifle. Because it took like. Is this the guy we just shot? Maybe. Lead pipe. Well, I guess the lead pipe is a more powerful weapon, and now that we have, I think we have, our skill should be like five, so we should be able to use this. There's probably just a, it's probably just a bark scorpion, I think. All right, well. Running away. And that's that. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, I've arrived in uh, Prim. It's nice to see this town is finally Prim and proper. Do do ch. <laughs> Well, let's go to here. Let's go here no, for no particular reason. Why oh, would you look at that? Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Would you look at that? A functioning casino. Yep. Yeah, so remember from previous one of the earlier episodes is that when you go there, let's say like after completing the the, the, the my kind of town, you have to wait a couple of days. You better get out of here if you know what's good for you. You better get out of here. Hmm. I'm not actually getting mad. Um. Yeah, so... Better get out of here if you know what's good for you. You better get out out of here. It's a good thing you didn't see that. Yeah, it's probably better to go <laughs> visit these houses like before solving my kind of town keep moving you better get out of here uh, oh I can finally make one of these good you finally know how to make a theory purgative Actually, let's visit the Mojave outpost so we can send some stuff to uh, to, to 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 Novak, yeah, and let's go see uh, the, 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 the shopkeeper guy, Johnson Nash. Ship to Novak, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, the cowboy repeaters, they can go. Knife can go. Well, I had the lead pipe so that that one can go. These can go. Yeah, I guess that magnum rounds can go, energy cells can go here. And uh, maybe we'll challenge this guy to uh, to do caravan. Hey there, youngster. But let's see what she has first. Yep, I got more ammunition now that the NCR keeps supplies flowing in. On the other hand, I'm paying them NCR taxes, so now you've got to as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is more expensive now here, yeah, obviously. Yeah, as you can see, yeah. But I'm just gonna take this stuff here. Yeah. I guess I could buy a little more of these, uh, these rounds, sure. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, bye. Hey there, youngster. Wanna play caravan? You think you have what it takes, kid? Uh I mean I have the save gate I have the save and reload button. I mean, yeah. He's he's just wasting his jacks like Okay, I have one king and one jack. Obviously, those I can use to sabotage those. You son of a... Well, I'm gonna need to... Oh. 
are we gonna wash this caravan right now? Oh, okay. I think now I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of sabotage here now, just so that. Yeah, he's already kind of getting two in there. Ah, uh, but if he puts like even ten there, he's gonna he's gonna win, isn't he? So yeah, I've got to sabotage him somehow. Is that nine? It's gotta be fifteen. Yeah, it's the only way I can read it. Mm. Well, I had like an A, so put it there. Oh, you son. Oh, you got 26 there, don't you? Well, guess what? I'm going to sabotage you. Uh. I'm going to take that away.
a use. You dirty freaking scoundrel. Well, I think two can play that game. Yes, we won. Oh, ho, ho. that was a tough game. Whew. Oh, man. Yeah, I think Chumchun Nash is actually like, I think his AI is actually very tough. His AI is actually very kind of, uh, he's a tough, he's definitely a tough opponent. Ugh. Yeah, it's uh, let's fast all the good springs. Although, we'll go to good spring source so I can get some fresh water. Get goes, huh? Yeah. We'll get some fresh water. And let's head to Yeah, so I can win 30 times in Caravan, then you do get like an achievement. <laughs> Which apparently only 2% of all players have gotten in this game, so at least according to Steam, so. Coyotes, huh? Good Springs Cave. Well, we might as well. This place is actually... Can I, yeah? place is actually quite good for um, good place to kind of find like early game energy weapons
<laughs> just sneak attack criticals. You know, like, well, although I suppose the good thing is that if you wait until you're a bit higher level, because, you know, all this, like, the loot, like, when you have these kind of, like, corpses, then the loot will be kind of randomized, so, and it does kind of, like, scale to your level, so, generally speaking, you do get, like, well, maybe this is, maybe with these it doesn't really scale that well, but, but with, like, those, uh, what do you call uh uh bright followers yeah well let's see what's the where's the exit Ah, oh good lord, where's the freaking exit? Somewhere here, okay. It's a dark cave, that's a... Oh. Got some extra XP for scoring enough critical hits, so nice. Yeah, of course. Even if you have, even if you're basically, if you are hidden and you hit an enemy, I think it's automatically a sneak attack critical. Devil's Gullet. Yeah. Oh. Okay. My companions can handle that. No? Why not? Come on, companions, go and do your job. The bathtub had some hydro, at least one. Yeah. But, well, yeah, ammo boxes at least. Oh, yeah, I guess so. There's a big white cross. Why don't we go there and find out what it is? Yatse Memorial. 
Yes, Scorpion. Wow. Oh. Oh. Is there another grave? Okay, no. Uh, can't remember. There's a little shack there, but does it have a bedroll? It has a bed, good. We'll sleep like. Ten hours in. Nine iron, yeah. So, chetty, duct tape. <laughs> Doggy treat. Lads Life Magazine. Steady. Steady supply of cans. Okay, lights off. Sneak out. Yeah, well, ready, take some This guy is kind of automatically 
It's going to automatically set hostile. <laughs> Did we just become neutral just because we shot that one powder, didn't we? But yeah, he would have attacked us on site. So. Okay, I guess we are morally neutral at the moment. Yeah, so we need to go to Hidden Valley now. It's also a reason why we came here during the daytime and you know, not during the night. And you know, if you know, you know. Yeah. So, here we are. Time to make a save game and, well, I would say this is enough though now. So, thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye.